Well, I'm not sure exactly how great the connection is today. Normally don't have any problems at all. But we'll see how it goes. I don't know if I don't know what they've done with my live stream. If it's still going. Let's check it out. Okay, it appears to be going. It appears to be. And I apologize for the inconvenience. So we can see how this does right now. And uh, yeah, we'll do the best we can, guys. I want to get my spam going here. So I got a little uh, music I'll play in the background. I hope it ain't too awful loud, but it might be. I don't know. How, how low can I turn it down? I bet it's like this right here. We'll go like that. We'll turn the desktop audio down a hair. And we'll get our spin on. You can let me know if it's horrible or not. You know. Hey, I'll give myself a thumbs up. There we go. I'll let you tell me if it's horrible or not, but uh, we'll try and get this spin going. I'm gonna sweat with my Santa hat on, but that's okay. Everything good, it's going. Got some music going. Hope that's okay with everybody. This is my tip jar. You guys can throw me some tips. guys 30 minutes starting at 9 23 a.m. on Taco Tuesday the 21st of December hey we're almost done we only have 29 minutes and 35 seconds left This is a spin class for people who want to just spin and get in a little exercise, a little bit of, you know, burn a few calories. This isn't a, this isn't a spin class where we're up on the bike and running around the bike and doing push-ups and burpees and whatever else and jumping back on the bike. This is just to uh, burn a few calories and have a good time and uh, get our bodies moving and uh, feel good. So it's very much a spin class for beginners or advanced, it don't matter. Everything don't have to be so intense. 
And one thing, I can't really stand up on this bike and pedal and do anything anyway because there's not enough resistance. And so I just end up spinning out. Unless I hold my brake and then I'm wearing my brake pads out. So hopefully in 2022 I'm going to get a, a decent mid-range, uh, entry, good entry mid-range level uh, exercise bike. As long as it has magnetic resistance, I'm good. I don't even care if it has a belt or a chain. It'd be nice to have a, a good heavy flywheel, a good 40 pound flywheel. But making sure it has magnetic resistance is my number one goal. Less wear and tear, less things to worry about. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. I don't even know if you can hear the music at this point. I can barely hear it. Just some holiday, free holiday music they have on YouTube. That uh, you can uh, listen to there and not get penalized. Hopefully, if I had a video sharing site, I'd have it open and let the people, the content creators, have to deal with all the copyright stuff. I'd have it open no matter what. There has to be a way to do that. Let us deal with it. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, I'm one of the minority out there that's an atheist slash agnostic, and I still celebrate the holiday. Number one, I grew up doing it. Uh, I have lots of fond memories. I love the lights. I love the trees. I love the gifts. I love the food. I love the hanging out with family and all that kind of stuff. I love all that and I grew up with it. Now my family was never hardcore, you know, religious. They just believed. You know, they believed. And at least, you know, they would say, you know, they believed in something. So, you know, that's just the religion they chose to believe in. Because, well, number one, you're in the United States of America. And Christianity is the, the religion uh, that's more dominant here. And number two... Even if you weren't brought up that way, it, you're getting bombarded with it everywhere you turn. So, usually Christianity is the way that you turn and uh, look for, uh, look to in this country. So, anyway, long story longer, I grew up, you know, celebrating uh, the birth of Christ and, and all that. But in my later years, I learned to kind of think to myself and get away from all that and and now I celebrate it just out of nostalgia and fun and like I said food and gifts and lights and trees and all the beauty of it and I even love the music I love the I love the holiday movies and stuff and you know to me that's what it's about The live stream's doing okay. It started off kind of rough. I had to go restart my router and everything. I don't know. So it seems like it's doing okay. And as you can tell, you can get in a good spin and still play on your phone and sit upright. And, and uh, you don't have to be intense, guys. We're burning calories. We're going to be sweating. You're sweating with Santa. Went to the oldies. Anybody love some Richard Simmons? Even I love Richard Simmons. I liked him back in the 80s. He's eccentric, he's weird, he's flamboyant and crazy and, well, 
come to find out, these days it really is a little local. But, hey, we're all pretty crazy in some way. I know I am. So, we all have our issues, and I hope the best for him and that he's being taken care of. Because he is a legend in the fitness industry. Uh, to me, as much as anyone else out there. Your Jane Fonda's, your... Suzanne Summers, your Arnold Schwarzeneggers, they're all legends in their own right. So Richard Simmons changed a lot of people's lives. And he gave a lot of hope and a lot of joy and smiles and good times to people along the way. And we can all hope that we do that in our lifetime. So I went out last night and pretty much got my wife's gifts all wound up. Not a whole lot that I get her. She's kind of copy and paste every year. She don't really, you know, she don't really have any hobbies or passions and different things that she does. Unfortunately. So she's kind of just copy and paste every year. I try to do something, throw something in there a little bit different, but it, it's usually hit and miss. So, it's usually clothes, body sprays, a few stocking stuffers, and call it a day. It's okay, she don't watch this, so she won't find out. But she knows anyways. So I got my morning walk done, and then I decided to come in and go ahead and have my breakfast. A lot of times I'll do my walk and then come in and get on the bike. But today I thought, eh, I'll go ahead and eat my breakfast and then get on the bike. As long as we get it done and don't procrastinate. Procrastination is what destroys us. So Monday was my leg day. I took it pretty easy. Uh, because Saturday, Saturday was my deadlift day. I kind of switched up my Saturday routine. My Saturdays have always been like full body workout day. But I wanted to switch things up, and so Saturday I did uh, deadlifts. I took all my stuff outside, and uh, I shot a video out there. You can go back and check that out if you want. Uh, so I did deadlifts outside, and and I went and I also worked out biceps, uh, just four sets of some easy bar curls, just to kind of end my workout week, and. Uh, I felt a little bit, a little bit of a strain later that day on Saturday. A little bit of a, a slight weirdness in this area here, if you know what I'm saying. So, it wasn't anything serious. It's nothing serious. Believe me, I've had something serious in that area before, and I know the difference. Uh, so it's just a little strain feeling, and uh, so I did that Saturday, and then Monday was my leg day yesterday. So I went ahead and did legs, but I kept it really light, and 
easy and controlled and and uh, I feel you know I didn't do anything crazy so I didn't feel anything weird going on but uh, I just did the hack press and then I used my Smith machine and did some squats all lightweight nothing major on the hack press I just went up I started at like 90 pounds and I think I did four eight I think I did eight sets on the Smith on the uh, hack press I think I did eight sets in my first my first set I just had 90 pounds 45 on each side and then for the other seven sets I had one uh, 180 uh, 245s on each side and I kept my reps uh, in the 15 uh, I, I did 15 reps so I still got a nice good workout there and then on the Smith machine squats I kept it at just 145 on each side and uh, I think I kept it at 10 reps four sets I think that's all I did I might have done more I can't remember <clears throat> but I kept it simple and uh, lightweight and I just kind of made sure that I listened to my body and uh, that's the thing about working out guys you got to listen if you feel something weird go ahead and stop don't try to push through it because most times that's going to be a, a bad a bad choice so listen to your body guys and then uh, after I did my deads, I got I went outside and I did all this. Took all my stuff outside and I did a video on and all that. And then I brought everything back in. And then uh, then I did my biceps, my four little sets of some biceps. I just had 25s on the curl bar, easy bar, <clears throat> and did like uh, either 12 or 15 reps or four sets. I don't remember. <clears throat> Uh, I feel that after changing it up like that after so many times of uh, doing a full body workout, I kind of felt like I was cheating myself a little bit. But at the same time, you know, you got to get over that and think, you know, you got to change things up a little bit sometimes. <clears throat> so I at least did deads and a little bicep work. So I kind of want to do that. I want to keep it kind of like that and really make Saturdays, you know, focused on deadlifts. And then a second body part, which I thought would most likely be the biceps all the time because I need more work on those. But we'll see how that goes. I know for certain it's going to be my deadlift day. But then the second body part, it could fluctuate. I don't know. I think it's good to kind of change things up sometimes a little bit. But mostly my biceps need more work than anything because they're weak now because I have injuries and I really can't go heavy and all that too much. And uh, you can't have too much stress and strain because it kills me. I got tendonitis or tennis elbow kind of going on in both elbows and I got scar tissue all here. I have arthritis in both of my wrists, so I'm not, you know, I'm not 30 years old, 30 years old anymore. I got these problems, but I'm still going, working around them, doing good. You can always find a way to kind of work around stuff and and uh, still get a good workout, guys. And I'm not going for big size and strength and craziness like I did years ago. Uh, I do have some goals and I like to kind of keep things, you know, a, a certain weight and, you know, make myself happy. But I'm not going for just stupid weights and, and worrying about all that anymore. I'm 50 years old now, so I'm good dropping weight and getting healthier from the inside out. That's what's important. If your insides are not healthy, as far as we know, we're healthy. If your insides are not healthy, then your outsides don't really matter. 
because eventually your outsides are going to fail uh, because of your unhealthy insides. You got to eat them healthy foods and stay strict about it, guys. So I hope everybody's having a good day. I hope you're getting some sort of workout in. Spinning is winning. Woo! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everybody. Ah! Yeah. Anyway. I don't know what's hotter. My Santa Claus hat? Or this hat that I wear all the time. I don't know which one's hotter. I could have worn both. Should just put them both on. Ah, back on to uh, the working out. Today is my chest day. Chesticles. The old chest. You ought to go back and, uh, of course, this channel that I've got going is fairly new, but I do have some videos going. Uh, you can check the playlist, and uh, you can see I got some chest workout videos. I've got a lot of playlists in there for you to go to. So, I had a pretty good chest workout last week. I think I filmed it. And, uh, I'm assuming I'm going to be able to do pretty good this week, even though I got the little, you know, I'm trying to take it easy because of what we just talked about with the straightage. <laughs> but uh, really the hardest thing I do on chest day at this point are the 100 pound dumbbells. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna, you know, I'll, you know, I'm gonna give them a try and see how I feel about it. And I should be okay. Chest and arms are my two least favorite body parts to do. It's kind of strange. That's usually everybody's go-to. That's what everybody's worried about. Dude, how much can you bench press? How big are your arms? Let me see your arms. How much can you bitch? I want to see. I'm past all that. <laughs> My favorite days are legs and back. That's what I enjoy doing. Legs and back. And then shoulders. And then chest. And then arms. Shoulders, I like I like doing shoulders, but whenever I work out my shoulders, I always stress and strain and push really hard, and it always upsets my neck, always. And uh, I end up, you know, with a stiff neck and and all that. So really, every week after I do neck, I really need to go to a chiropractor or a deep tissue massage person or something like that and get my neck and my traps and everything worked on. What if, you know, if I had the money to do that, that's what I would do. Because I'm always just, you know, you get that C3PO syndrome where you can't turn and it's, uh, 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 and you're dying, so. Just hear those sleigh bells ringling, ting ting tingling too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Outside the snow is falling and friends are calling you. Come on, it's lovely weather, let me smack you on your bottom, baby. What? I don't know. I've never been good with lyrics. I don't know if that's the way it goes or not. I don't know. Oh, 
Y'all don't know! Spinning is winning! I don't know if it's winning or not, but it's... Giving me a good workout. See, I do this for my no impact cardio. And for my impact cardio, it's where I walk. You gotta have a couple of, you gotta mix them in there. You gotta have it all. Don't just, don't just uh, go through your day without any impacts, impact on your bones, your skeletal system, your musculature system. You gotta have that impact. Go out there and walk. That's the least you can do for that. And then get in you some good no impact with swimming or cycling. It's all good. That's all good. <laughs> Anyone know who that is? Bet you don't. La 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 la. Oh, in case you didn't know, I collect the new. Masters of the Universe Revelation on Netflix. A uh, toy line. Behind me. I got them up in my closet on that top shelf. I got to get more shelves in there, and that's where all this is going to go is in there. It's going to be my Masters of the Universe closet collection. I'm probably not going to collect the vehicles and the play sets and all that kind of different stuff. I'm really just going after all the figures. Just trying to enjoy that. And give me a little bit of that joy. It's a good show. Don't listen to the critics and all the little YouTube crybabies crying that it's woke and all that. Don't listen to them, guys. Masters of the Universe Revelation is miles, and that's not easy for me to say, but it's miles better than the 80s original He-Man show. Way better. Even the 2K series is actually better than the original old school He-Man cartoon. It just is. I mean, I can, I can watch the original. I got it right here. Pardon me. I got the 2K series as well. I can watch the original, no problem. But it don't compare with the new stuff. It just don't. It was more, and I don't even like to use the word cheesy, something that's overused just for stuff in the 80s. Uh, but even for me to say it, it's, you know, it's cheesy, it's incomplete, there's not a lot of, you know, you don't get your battles, you don't get your other characters that are really significant and strong and doing their own, it's all on He-Man's shoulders, so... <laughs> the sound of the bike is intolerable. It's meant to soothe and relax. But thanks for trying, Jared. I appreciate it. I don't know, that it don't bother me anymore. It did at first, whenever I first started using this trainer, but it don't really bother me no more. 
But I am gonna get a legit exercise bike, stationary bike, sometime in 2022. So it'll be a little better. But I appreciate you trying, Jerry. Hey, it ain't no louder than your motorized bicycle. Come on, dude. What's up with that? Come on, Jared. Jiminy Cricket. I find the sound of the bike trainer soothing almost anymore. If it was quiet, it would be like I'm hearing crickets or something. Now see, imagine, I know you probably left already, Jared, but imagine your motorized bicycle with your little gas power, powered motor. What if it was electric? How weird it would sound. It wouldn't have that, that sound anymore, you know? And all you guys that work in machine shops, how loud and horrible that is, or do construction, and this ain't nothing. This is soothing. You can lay down in your recliner and go to sleep here in this. It's like a waterfall, the raindrops, or unicorns pooping in the woods. It's tranquil and surreal. Well, if you stuck it out this long, guys, we have a minute left. Now, I can make it louder and get crazy. But I won't do that. That's an insane spin classes when they do that. Ah, come on, go, go, go! La 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 la. Spin with me, spin, 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 spin. Don't pay attention to the sound of the bike. There we go, guys. That's 30 minutes. And it only seemed like 29 minutes and 59 seconds. How amazing was that? You got a good workout in. No excuses. You had an average everyday regular guy doing it along with your average everyday regular self. Unless you're an amazing world-class athlete that went along with me and well, that's pretty cool too. Woo! All right. Well, for anyone that tunes in, I, I'm sorry that the the bike and all that's a little annoying for you. Uh, there's really nothing I can do about it. Mike, put road tires on the bike. It has road tires. Mike, put skinny tires on. I can't put skinny tires on them wheels. Mike, do this. Mike, do that. Well, I've tried using my other road bike with the skinnier tires and all that, and, and it still makes the same sound. It's the trainer. The trainer's the problem. Ugh, let me scratch. Ah. So anyways, guys, look at that. Santa Claus. What's up? Anyway, so whew, I got my walk done, my spin done, my breakfast done. Now I just got to work out chest today and do one more walk later. I am going to see uh, the new Spider-Man movie tonight. 
Uh, even though I've been spoiled already. Because people are idiots online. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the spin. Get out there and take care of yourself inside and out. Have a good day, a good week. Have a good holiday. And we'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown with me, Michael. Get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. We'll see you later. Mm -hmm. I said we'll see you later.